No one, no one thought he was going to pop his clogs. How do I not know this? <laughs> Yari, Mara, what you're doing, like? Huh? <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Uh, today I have two guests of. Uh, very nice to meet you, ladies. Hello, hello. All right. And we have very familiar Hannah. Depends on when the video is gonna come out. Maybe yeah. you've seen her. She's the English breakfast specialist. We've got Hannah, and today we've got Sophie. And today is actually quite an interesting dynamic because we have a lady all the way from the south of the UK and the north of the UK. So basically, we have five slangs idioms from the north. Right. And then you have to test Hannah or test me to see whether we can understand your slangs okay. and vice versa. I'll be the moderator from time to time. I'll ask questions okay. and I'll, I'll try to guess. So I'm from Sunderland, which is uh, specifically in the northeast of England, close to Newcastle, which is a bigger city. But Because I wouldn't know Sunderland unless there was a football team because there was a pretty good football team. Once upon a time. I'm from the south, near yeah. London. Yeah. It's a place called Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire. The further up north you get, the friendlier people get. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, That's what so I heard. Good. That's why I found Hannah quite hostile from time to time. <laughs> we have five questions each. At the end of the competition, we have a winner. And the winner gets a present. Oh. Loser gets a punishment. And trust me, this award or punishment is going to be very oriental. So guys, I hope you guys, are, after watching these videos, you can understand some slangs or phrases from the north and the south. Hoi tea. Hoi tea. <laughs> so make sure they are challenging enough for me. Right. Because I think maybe I'm better than Hannah when it comes you to... Think? You think? You think? No, no, Go, round one. How do you say it? The Chinese? Hoi tai. Ni bosh me. Ni bosh me. Ni bosh me. Ni bosh me. Me bosh mate. So is this something a phrase that you walk around the street and people would say it? In what context would they yeah. say it? We need a hint. Yeah. Okay, so oh thank you so much for um helping me out the other day. Uh, knee bosh me. mate. Oh you just gave it away. Well that was the context. <laughs> You're welcome. Not no. Oh. No. no. Uh, no bother. Yeah, no bother me. No bother uh, me. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me bosh me. It is your welcome, but it's like no bother. It's, it's like, like no don't bother. worry about it. Wow. Yeah. So you guys say no bother? Yes, yeah. because it'd be like knee bother or knee bosh. Would you say knee bosh? No, absolutely not. No. But would you say no bother <laughs> if someone say uh, thank you? Would you say no bother? Like, mate. No, like, no problem. Yeah, then no worries. No worries. No worries. I say no, no worries. worries. Imagine a guy from Sunderland, he goes to London and go knee bosh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you said no bother, people would be like, I understand what you're saying, they would be like, yeah. you're a freak. I'm One feeling, nil. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling One confident. nil. Sophia, I think you, you are smelling the good old uh, oriental tricks that I'm about to give you. So try not to lose. Okay. So. You chirps in that boy you met on Bumble. Yeah, I, I know this one. What um, do you think this one is? You chirps in that boy or you chirps in that girl, I could say to you. Oh, chirp is like you you're going for someone. Not specifically. No, like you, you, are you. So in Cantonese, this is quite funny. I think maybe it was derived from English. So we'll say, oh, oh, oh chirp, jola. So we always say yeah. it in like a more demeaning way to men, say to women, it's like, oh, chirp, jola, that girl. So meaning I have, uh, I have, okay. I have. You know, there's a little bird that goes chirp 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 yeah. chirp 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 So what does a little bird do? It's like you chirps in that person. What do you say? Like you flirting. Like, yeah, you like talking, oh, you flirting. Like, yeah. Chirp is flirting. Isn't it like chirp, like a little bird, like chirps, it's like chirp, uh, Would you say it? I just say flirting. <laughs> Yari, Mara, what you doing like? Huh? <laughs> Yari, Mara, what you doing like? <laughs> wait, wait, what, what does the whole sentence like? What is it? Yari, Not Yari. <laughs> Yari, yari, Sam say. <laughs> yari, Mara, what you doing like? Let's start with Yari, Mara. Yeah, Yari, Mara. Mara is a person, though. Yeah. So you're talking yari. to Mara. N no, Mara is like mom. No. Yari, Mara. Yari, Mara. Yari is you're right. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're right, mom. Mara. Mara. I Grandma. That's Mara is mate. Yeah. Like best friend. Yari, Mara. Do you guys even speak English up there? <laughs> like, what you're doing, like, what you're doing, like, yeah, what you're doing, what you're up to. What you're to? doing, like. Yeah. So why do you have to say what you're doing, like? We say like in so many sentences, like, 
like all the time. Like, like and I feel like the, the southern version is in it. In it, in it, in, in it. it, 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 isn't it? In it. So you make sound like like in it. You can write yeah. it. We make yeah. a lot of sound that you can't write. Like eh. If someone hurts you, what yeah. do you say? Ow, ow. Guess how we say it. Oh. Aya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, let me interrupt a little bit. See how much fun we're having here? I just want to take some time and say learning language should be a fun experience. That's why I always use my channel as a platform to share interesting and useful language tips that you probably won't find in traditional language textbooks. And Lingoda believes in the same thing. By the way, Lingoda's money back daily language challenge campaign sprints, its deadline has been extended. So it's sign up before the 26th of June. You don't even need a deposit anymore. Use this promo code to get 10 euro off your first month sprint tuition fee and use this promo code if you want 20 euro off the first month of other regular classes. You can refer to the video here to learn more about the sprint. As I said, learning a language should be a fun and interesting experience. You wouldn't go far if you just want to learn the language to do an exam. You should learn a language because the world is an amazing place and learning a new language allows you to make more friends and see more things. So please give me some time to explain to you why Lingoda can offer you a fun and efficient language learning experience and it's worth having a try. Firstly, I think this part a lot of viewers of mine will agree with me. The native teachers on the platform are truly amazing. They are patient and they are fun and they are from all over the world so you can learn a lot of fun facts about their culture when you, when you attend their classes. Please feel free to talk to them and ask them any questions. Buen tiempo. And every time I take the class, I'm so excited to find out who my other classmates are. Every class has around no three to four way. students and it's truly a very interactive experience because you can talk to them. I actually made a new friend there. He's from Quebec and uh, we did a few more classes together. And uh, so shout out to you, Joe. I'll come to Canada when you guys get less cold. So I really think Lingoda is more than just a language learning platform. If you use it right, it's an eye-opening experience that connects you with people from all over the world for, for just around 8 euro per group class. You can even do it at Apple Store if you want to. Many of my viewers, they have already tried out Lingoda so you can check out their stories here or you can just go talk to them directly. Please, 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 learning a language should be fun so do not torture yourself. No one thought he was gonna pop his clogs. Pop his what? Pop his clogs. Pop his clogs. No one thought he was gonna Cox. pop his clogs. Pop, pop his clogs. We're all very sad. No one, no one thought he was going to pop his clogs. He didn't show up. I think maybe think of a reason why he didn't show up. He couldn't make it out. He broke up. He got too drunk. The northern <laughs> way of thinking. He must oh, have got too yeah. drunk. Okay. Hey. How do I not know this? He died. What? Everyone's really extremely sad because <laughs> no, he popped and he died. I'm <laughs> just taking That's a really just... dark turn. <laughs> what? Like, why else would <laughs> you be really sad? Engine clogs. And he popped his clogs so his engine stopped working so he stopped. Another English phrase is kick the bucket or something? He kicked the bucket, yeah. He died. He like, but it can be died, but you also kick the bucket means like he gave up. Didn't say out like. Didn't say out like. Didn't, Didn't sound alright. Didn't say out like. The like is the same thing, so get rid of the like. Because the like is just filling a gap. Yeah. So did it say out? Well, I'm heading off now, but didn't say out like. Oh, okay. Don't say out. You like you're halfway there, but you're not fully there. <laughs> what is the answer? Don't say anything, please. Um... Wow. <laughs> say out. Yeah. Out is like out anything. Is nothing. Because I didn't have a gym membership when I went back home. One of the trainers was really lovely, and he put on free guest passes onto yeah. my mum's card. So yeah. he went, he went. I've done this for you, but didn't say, didn't say how I didn't say how like. I if he said that to me, I wouldn't understand. I'll tell everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going. We're going back to a maybe okay. more easier one okay. than the poppy clocks. Okay. Did you just say more easier? More. Yeah. yeah wow. Oh, I hope she's not coming. I've got beef with her. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. What is it? It means like I've got beef for you. I've got food for you. No. 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so to have beef means to have problem. Yeah, I can't so I, I have beef with 
Yeah. But why does it have to be beef though? I think it's just beefy, it's meaty. It's like yeah. saying like, don't get up in, in my grill. Oh, the okay. chicken. Chicken's too nice and like bland. Hoy is that, will ya? Hoy yourself, would you? <laughs> Hoy is that, will ya? Hoya is that, would you? Hoya, hoya. What the hell is that? What's your hoya is that? Hoya is that. I know what it is. I know. Can you handle? You're so good. You're really close. It's like on the top of your top. Oh, because you hand. Yeah. It's more like weird in the north. Instead of me, can you hand me that? It's like. And the us is me. Hoya is that bag, would you? Yeah, yeah there like you go. Oh, yeah. that. You just be like, E, I'm feeling dead lazy. Could you hire us that towel, please? He's bare chong. He's bare chong. He's bare chong, fam. I know it. If it's positive or negative. I feel like it gives away the positive. Like he's fit. Yeah, he's fit. Oh. Chong is like, yeah, he's fit. He's good looking. He's peng. You heard peng? Yeah. Peng, it's like describe a, a woman. Yeah. No, no, Peng is like universal. It's like yeah. the food we ate earlier was Peng. Uh, Torres is really strong. Torres is proper fit. I'm trying to think which one sounds better. <laughs> he was so Raji the other day. Oh. Raji. 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 So he was so Raji. He was or so. Is... Okay, could you He go... was so Raji last night. He was so Raji. Where did he get Raji? Um. What? We left early because my mate got so raggy. Like, he was getting like, a rash. <laughs> raggy could mean like they're about to start a fight with anyone. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Aggressive. 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 That's In what way? Raging. 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 Yeah. Oh, right. we'll, we'll go for this one. Okay. But I think it's going to be a tie. You know Torres. He's got techers with the camera. Do you know? I don't know what. I put it Okay, there. good. Good. Techers. He's got techers with the camera. I think I've got it. What yeah. do you think it is? Style. Talent. Close. Not so much talent. I think. You are being quite reggy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Techniques. Yeah. You'd say it more about like actual ability of doing something. Uh, He's techers on the surfboard. <laughs> so what does that mean? 4-4. Four, four. It's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to bring out the prizes. Are you guys nervous? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> oh, what is it? Guess what this is? Are these these eggs? Oh, no, they're not eggs, are they? Egg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we've got. It looks like a dinosaur egg. It we've does. got a thousand year it's egg. It's like boiled. Bow your. A salted duck egg is a Chinese preserved food product. Made by soaking duck eggs in brine. Big bite. Big bite. It's so salty. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Eating too much salted egg will cause cancer. <laughs> <laughs> A lovely episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly mm -hmm. learned so many English things. Uh huh. Message them. <laughs> Hang out. Slide in the DM. Take them a slide in a good DM. Stop chirping. Stop chirping, <laughs> indeed. All right, see you guys next time. Ciao. Bye. So Hannah came for a night out in Newcastle. Uh, could, <laughs> you, could you fit in as a stuff now? No, I genuinely. I even said to Sid on this night out, I was like, "Do people hear my voice and run away?" Because I felt that no one was speaking to me. <laughs>